Hello, and welcome to another video. Today, I'll be briefly talking about five Greek mythical creatures. No particular reason as to why these five, but no one is giving suggestions, so I need to choose my own topics. Okay, last, last notifications before we can get into the video. First, my exams are coming up, so I might miss a few weeks. Second, I'm a bit behind on my subscriber goal. I am five months in. That's 47%. 40 I am 34, and only 9% of you subscribe. So, if my calculations are correct, we just need to raise this to 14% subscribe. Please help me get to my goal. Okay, now with all the end notes brought to the beginning, let's get into the video. Number one, the Cyclops. Meaning round eye, strange, but okay. They were giant one-eyed monsters. They were wild and lawless, with neither social manners nor fear of the gods, which is really quite something since one of the gods has a literal lightning bolt as a weapon. They, the Cyclopses I mean, were considered the sons of Uranus and Gaia. The Ele uh, I mean Cyclopses, were the workmen of he Hephaestus, whose workshop was in the volcanic mountain Etna. One well-known Cyclops, is Polyphemus, apparently meaning abounding in songs and legends. Mr. Phemus was the son of Poseidon and was encountered by Odysseus in his travels. If this gets more than w one request, I will tell you the story. Number two, satires. They are creatures of the wild, part man, and part beast. The classic satires were associated with the god Dionysius. For those who don't know, he's the wine dude, and Pan, the god of the wild. Their Italian counterpart is the fawn. Satires were first represented as uncouth men with horse tails and ears. Later, they were represented as half-goat. They are also known to pursue nymphs. nymphs. Number 3. Cerberus. The giant three-headed dog that guards the underworld. Not much more to say. I just wanted to show you pictures of Fluffy. Number 4. Centaurs. Half-man, half-horse. Boom! Centaur. They lived in the mountains and forests of Thessaly. They were wild and inhospitable. The centaur, Chiron, was not. Apparently he was actually part of Greek mythology, not just Percy Jackson. And he actually did teach Greek heroes. Number 5. Harpies. M mythical monsters in Greek mythology were the previous version as wind spirits and another as pretty woman with wings. Of course, this was before they became ugly, just as we know and love them today. They are often agents of punishment. They abduct people and torture them on their way to Hades' domain. They were employed by him as a form of punishment. Thank you for watching. All my usual requests have been moved to the, be to the beginning. Good, so, goodbye. Probably see you next week.